Or you want a curveball? How about a slider? All right. Um, so in this example, so first thing we want to look at is obviously we can't algebraically simplify this in any regard. So let's go ahead and apply our direct substitution. When we apply direct substitution, we get e to the zero. Oops. Yeah, e to zero minus one over sine of two times zero. Well, obviously sine of two times zero is just zero. Sine of zero, we look at the unit circle, that's going to be zero. e to the zero is one. One minus one is zero over zero. So therefore, again, we have a indeterminate form. So therefore, we're going to want to take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, in this case with respect to x. So taking the derivative of the numerator is just going to leave us with e to the x. And derivative of the denominator is going to be um, 2 cosine, be careful, of 2x. Right, doing a little chain rule, really cosine of 2x times 2, and then let's throw the 2 in the front. Yes? Well, um, so therefore, when we, we can apply direct substitution here. So that's e to the 0 over 2 times cosine of 2 to the 0. And e to the 0 is going to equal 1 over 0. So that's cosine 0 is 1, so that's 1 half. So 1 half. It's not that bad, right? I think there's maybe 